Hey everyone, I am Zeb Khan and welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, we styled our chat bubbles and we formatted the dates. We also added a bit of scrolling here and there. In this video, we'll fix a bug in our app so that only one chat can be created between two users. So let's get started. So what bug exactly am I talking about here? To do that, let's test something out. So if for example, we mistakenly select an existing user here, like for example, Hina, what would happen? Let's click on this. And as we click on this, we saw that it creates a new chat with the same user. Now this is a bug because the user wanted to chat with Hina and will miss the earlier messages exchange here. And it's going to have a new chat here, which is going to be difficult to track later on. Also, it doesn't make sense. So what do we do? We are going to check for an existing chat with the user before creating this new chat. But first, let's remove this duplicate chat that we created by going in our Cloud Firestore. And we can see which, which is the new one. It does, this doesn't have any messages. So we are going to remove this document from here. Okay, when we go back, we're back to square one. Great. We're going to create a new function here called is existing chat. The input for this function would be other user ID which would be a string and it is going to return an observable of either a string which would be the existing chat id or if no chat was found it's going to return null okay now remember that we already have a my chat observable here which gives us the chats of the currently logged in user we're going to reuse this observable that we have and we're going to find out whether an existing user exists in this so we're going to start with this this dot my chats and we're going to pipe into it then the first thing obviously uh, like we did before in some cases we're going to just take the first one because we just want to take the snapshot at that time then we're going to use the map operator and in the map operator we're going to get the chats for the currently uh, currently logged in user here and we're going to loop through all of these chats okay let's first return null here at the end so that we can remove these errors so what we're going to do here is we're going to use a for loop so let's to let i is equals to zero i less than chats dot length and i plus plus then within it we're going to check whether chats i that is a current chat user ids includes our other user id or not if it includes the other user ids this, this means that an existing chat with this user already exists so we are going to just return the chat id for this chat chats dot id and if for example uh, it loops through all of the chats but doesn't find the other user id in the user ids that means that there is no chat for this user yet so we are going to just return null at the end, which is going to tell us, okay, you can create a new chat now. Great. So with this function done, we can use it while creating a new chat. So let's go to our home.component now and let's go in our create chat handler here. We're using create chat here, but we are not going to do that anymore. Instead, we are going to start with this dot chat service dot is existing chat. Here we are going to do other user dot UID. Okay. And then we're going to pipe into it. Next, we're going to add a switch map operator. Okay. And the switch map operator is going to get the chat ID, which can be a value or it can be null. So we're going to just check. Okay. So if there's a value here, this means that an existing chat is there. So we're going to just return off with that chat ID. Otherwise, we are going to return by adding a new chat, chat service dot create new chat dot create chat. And we're going to pass in the other use. Okay. This is also going to return a new chat, the new chat ID in the observable. Great. Since we have piped into it, we can now subscribe to this and in the subscription we are going to get the newly added chat id or the existing chat id and all we need to do here is to set the value for our chat list control dot set value and in the set value because it accepts an uh, array of values we are going to give chat id here so this is going to select the existing chat if it exists and if it doesn't then the new chat on the UI. As soon as the chat list control here value changes, our list and the messages all are going to automatically get updated on the UI. Great, isn't that cool? It's the power of RxJS plus Firebase which makes for a truly reactive application here. Okay, so let's save this and go back and test everything out. Okay, so now when we select uh, Hina from the list, what is going to happen? Let's go and see. So when we select we are going to select our existing Hina conversation. Great. And if, for example, we select a user that we're not chatting with currently. So for example, maybe if we remove Zen's conversation here and we just 
and at Zan again from here, we are going to see that it creates a new chat because it wasn't existing. Great. So now we have fixed this bug and now our app is pretty functionally complete. It was a slightly longer set of videos this time, but at the end you have a pretty solid working chat application for one-to-one -one chats between two users. Of course, we can extend it as well, but I'll leave that up to you guys and how you go about it now. If you do build upon this, I'd love to hear what you have come up with in, in the comments or through some other way. Now I might do a follow-up video for some small nifty UI tricks such as adding a typing indicator here and a scene indicator here maybe which is very common in uh, chat applications nowadays and maybe I also do a video for refactoring the app as it seems to have become quite big in terms of the size of our components. So if you look at our home component here, it has become quite big. We can probably divide it up further into smaller parts so that it becomes more manageable. So watch out this space. I hope you liked this series and if you did, be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.